guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video today I'm going to be looking at a big problem for these old transits and that's rust. So I've recently given the underside of this van a good blast off with the jet wash um, just to get rid of any loose debris, uh, mud, spider webs, uh, grease and road dirt really. So I've got as much of it off as I can but we've still got bits of flaky rust here and there. So the next step is to get underneath the van with a drill and wire brush, I'm just going to try and get off as much of the loose rust as possible. Got some safety glasses because the rust is going to be falling in my eyes, in my hair. I've been putting this job off for a long time. I wanted to get it done in the summer, but um, I just didn't have the time. What with painting the van and doing all the other bits and pieces. So um, it's come around to now. Yeah, we're mid-November, so it's not too chilly, but I'd like to get it done before the winter sets in just so I know it's protected. So come the next MOT, hopefully we shouldn't have any problems with rust. So here we can see, it's previously had under seal on here, but as the rust has started to come through, it's peeling off. And this is leaving a gap for moisture and water to get in and sit against the metal. So I've got my wire brush here and I'm just gonna scrape all of this back so as you can see I've got off all of the loose rust and now I'm going to paint all the rusty bits with rust converter ok so now I've got the worst of the rust off I've got my rust converter here I use this stuff called Cortenin F it's pretty good off eBay, it's fairly cheap and it seems to do the same job as a more expensive rust treatment does. I've also got some vac tan here, that's another pretty good one. But this, because I've got to do quite a large area, I tend to use this as a bit cheaper and it seems to do the same thing. So it converts it to that oxidised kind of black purpley coloured substance and then I can paint over the top of it. This is quite nasty stuff, this rust converter, so I've got my goggles on and my gloves. Um, I'm just going to go under and paint all the rusty bits now. Here you go, I've scraped all the chunks of rust off. and get some of my converter. And I'm just smothering it. So here we have before using the rust converter in this particular area. So this is what that particular area looks like after the rust converter has done its magic. It's gone to this blacky purple sort of colour. So the next stage is to start painting my hammerite on. Um, it shouldn't matter too much if I've missed any patches because it is direct to rust paint anyway. I'm just giving this paint a good mix. It says on it 8 year protection, direct to rust metal paint, so that should be ideal for this application. It would be nice not to do any welding underneath the van for 8 years, but I can't see that happening. But all the time I've got the van, I'd like to keep it protected. Ooh, I need to take these off, getting in the way. This is going to be a very long process, but a process that's definitely worth doing. It's a lot easier to be under here painting than it is welding all these little patches in and cutting out metal. So yeah, I've got bits of rusty paint falling on my face already. It really is quite satisfying. Covering all this rust up. So here we can see up the front, I've just given everything a coat. I 
haven't been eating the paint, I promise. So I've used up this whole tin on the chassis now. I've still got a little bit to paint at the back of the van, but I've run out of paint, so um, I might have a little bit lying around somewhere so I can finish off the back bit. You can see I've painted all the box section. Still got to paint that bit, um, the suspension components there. But I'm going to do that once I've scrubbed it off and cleaned it off properly. The final step is to apply wax oil to the inside of all the box section and anywhere that I couldn't get with a paintbrush. So inside the seals, and I'll show you in a minute. But I'm going to be applying this with my ship's gun. If you remember from my Raptor video, it just applies any thick coatings really. It's really handy to have and especially with this extension nozzle that it came with I can use this to get inside all the box section and this sprays out in a fan kind of effect so it will cope all the surface area inside the box section which is very handy. This was £10 for um, a litre but then you can buy this bigger refill bottle which is a bit cheaper um, and just top it up but you need one of these bottles to use a shit gun with it. Alternatively, if you did paint your Raptor on, or you've done a Raptor job or Gravitex job in the past, I think all those bottles could be reused for applying your wax oil. This wax oil is quite a thick substance, so I'm just going to heat it through a little bit on this gas stove here. It's a good thing about having a metal can. and feel that that's gone to a nice liquid now. So I'm going to put this to one side. This is the first time I've used this stuff, so it'll be interesting to see how it, how it is. There we go, it's a thick, gunky stuff, and it's going to be messy as hell, so make sure you cover up your driveway if you're going to be doing it on there. I'm also going to add some oil to this. See how that goes goes down. Great, it doesn't really fit on there. Oh yeah, it does. Just about. It's not not the greatest, but I just have to be a bit careful with it. So it says on the bottle to spray this at a pressure of five to six bar, and I've set the compressor at six bar. So let's um, let's see how it applies. Along all the seals it's got these caps, so I'm just going to remove the rubber caps. Then I'm going to get my gun here, and then also spray inside all the seals. Because they tend to rust from the inside out, as you've um, seen from my previous videos. So if I can get some of this on to stop it rusting, then um, that's a step in the right direction. also got these holes inside the wheel arches um, to get into the seals so I'm just going to poke this nozzle in here and spray all along the seal here on the inside. So it's getting dark already and I can't carry on filming this because you can't see what I'm doing but I think you get the gist of it. 
I'm just literally spraying wax oil into all the box section and the inside the seals. I've got lots of little plugs. I can take those plugs out and then just spray with my nozzle inside all the seals. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to everybody that subscribed to my channel. I've got 400 subscribers now, which is just great. All the time I keep getting subscribers, I'll carry on making these videos. So if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and the little alarm bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.